Yes, yes, sir. Big concrete tank, um, so that's sort of full up to about 80%, and it's about yeah, 40 million litres capacity. But our plant's 250 million litres a day, so we're continuously putting water into it and taking it out the other side. As it comes out of the tank there, it's got all of those chemicals that we need for distribution, so chlorine, um, disinfection, that sort of thing. Um, so everything's dosed on site. Once it goes into the pipeline, it's ready to be drunk by customers. So everything's done here on site. So on my right is the intake area. So from here, there's two tunnels that go out into the ocean. One brings the seawater in. So the seawater just comes in through the tunnel and sits in a tank underneath us area there, just at sea level. So the water just comes in by gravity into that wet well. Sort of see the top of a couple of those round um, structures there. So they're band screens. Millimeter fly screen type screen. So it's got all the big stuff out of it, but it's still got bits of sand and that sort of thing. So this building then removes those and then treated. So this is the, the backwash water with all the particulates and filtrates. We're at about 50% of the water. There's 50% of this water that goes back to the ocean. So that goes into another chamber, just the other side of this one, and is sent through a tunnel out to the ocean. And on the end of that tunnel, there are little diffusers that come off. And so that water is then sort of injected and mixed with background seawater. Um, and it's designed so that that water is mixed very well. So within about 100 metres of that outfall, as I said, you can't tell the difference. Um, so we use tunnel boring machines in this plant. There's a lot of other options for intake and outflow. You can just lay a pipe along the surface of the, the ocean or sort of trench into it, which is a lot sort of lower cost for a small plant. So once again, there are options to, to design this for, the, for whatever needs you have, I suppose. See once again, but if you're making a smaller plant, you can just have less filters or smaller filters. So. The process is, we get this raw seawater comes in, we dose some of this chemical into it that we saw on the way past. And if you have a look at the, the channel in the middle, you can see it's got that sort of rusty colour up above. Mm -hmm. We put in ferric chloride, so it's an iron-based chemical, so hence it's got that brown sort of rusty colour. And what that chemical does is it takes all the small particles and makes them bigger. So then. The water then goes into these filters on either side and the filters have sand and a little bit of filter coal. So because the sand particles are so close together, there's only a tiny little holes between them and it filters out all that material. So the water goes in, filters down through the sand and is collected underneath and then taken off to the desalination area.
No water. Uh, so this is probably what we should uh, have. I know we have uh, a couple of small ones in the big hotels on the islands. We have uh, small ones on the ships, and especially the navy ship. We have a defunct one sitting in uh, Tavioni. But we need uh, something concrete like this. Not this big, maybe one-tenth the size of this, maybe ten throughout Fiji, especially out in the island, the low group, the Sao. And uh, it will be a wonderful uh, uh, opportunity for them to, to get this up and running.